Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen, AKA Final Cut Steph, back with more free 4K effects just for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use studio flares from Rampant's film and light category. And these effects are so crazy popular, they have been downloaded almost 3 million times. So let's have a quick look at the studio flares before I show you where to download and how to use them. So now that you're excited about adding studio flares to your video content, head on over to 4kfree.com to download. That's the number four, the letter K, free.com. Once there, all you need to do is put your name and email address in. So I'm gonna do that, put my name in, put my email address in, and then I'm gonna click here to download, click this button right here. If you've been here before and you click here to download, you will automatically be redirected to the free effects page. If you've never been here before, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get another email where you have to confirm that you actually signed up. And then once you confirm with that email, then you'll be forwarded to the free effects page. And on the free effects page, you'll be able to scroll through and see all of the free effects that Rampant's giving away. And there are a ton of them. And all these effects are 4K. They're not watermarked, so you can use them on your video content today. And the video we're talking about today and the product we're talking about is Studio Flares. And you can find that right here. And to download, all you need to do is click on this button right here. This is click here to download free effects. You can also click on this button right next to it if you'd like some more information. You can learn more about Studio Flares. You can purchase more Studio Flares or see the promo video of what we've created uh, with the flares as well. So definitely click on that for more information, but click here to download the free effects and you'll be able to add this, these effects to your video content today. Now, before I show you how to use the studio flares, I wanna point out that these effects can be used on a Mac or PC. And I also wanna point out that these effects are MOV files and can be used in any editing software that reads ProRes. I'll be showing you how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10, but feel free to stop this video here, go download the free effects for yourself and start editing in the software of your choice. And also, if you're looking for more training, head on over to our YouTube channel and see all the training we have, including training for Adobe Premiere, Avid, HitFilm, Resolve, and so many more. Okay, let's get started with these in Final Cut. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get our flares inside of Final Cut. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's really simple. We're gonna import these flares just like any other media or any other footage. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring over my, here's my flares, I've already downloaded them. You get four in this pack. All you need to do is click on all of them, select them all and drop them in, okay? And now all, all of our free flares are inside of Final Cut ready for us to use, which is super easy. Now I already have some clips down here in my timeline in my project, and these are all HD clips. These are 1920 by 1080. All of the free flares are gonna be 4K, so it's gonna give us a lot of room to play, but you can use 4K footage inside of HD uh, inside an HD project, and I'm gonna show you how that works in just a few seconds. Okay, how do we use this? Well, it's really simple. All you do is you come up here, you select your flare, you bring it down, you drop it in, and that's, that's the first step, okay? And we can shrink this up so it fits our clip timing just like that. Now, we have to somehow make this blend into our footage, and then we have to change the sizing. Well, to do that, we're gonna come over to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to screen, and then we're gonna change the spatial conform down here to fix the sizing. And there are two options. You can change your spatial conform to fill, which is gonna fill your HD frame. You can see it right there. Or you can change this to none, which is gonna give you the 4K size. We're gonna keep this on HD right now and I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna play this through so you can see it and then we're gonna talk about the 4K size. So let's go ahead and roll this through. And it looks great. It looks like a natural flare. Maybe you'd see on like, uh, music reality TV shows today, um, all different kinds of shows you would see on uh, TV. So this looks really cool. Now, what about that 4K size that we were talking about? Well, I wanna illustrate this. You can kind of see it here, but I wanna zoom out a little bit more, just like this. And if we click on our actual footage, this is our HD footage, you'll see the bounding box right here. It fits our frame. So that's our 1080 frame right here, 1920 by 1080. Now, if I click on my effect, you will now see the bounding box of the effect. And right now it's fitting in our HD frame. Well, why is that? Well, our spatial conform is set to fill. Remember I told you there were two options, there was fill or none. If we select fill, it's going to fit it into your HD frame. If you select none, look at that, it's now 4K size. So now you have the ability to reposition this so I can move it around. I can rotate it now. I have a lot of space to rotate. You can zoom it, you can scale it, zoom it in. 
um, all that stuff. So you have you have the maximum, you know, creativity here. You can move it around. And what what's really cool about this is basically depending on where you put this, you could have a, a completely different effect. So if we put this in the bottom corner here and I play this through, that's a completely different effect than what we just had with the streaky flare, right? So you're not even seeing the streaky flare. It's kind of just more like a natural flare, which is amazing. And then if we put this back over, let me see if we can see it. If we put it over here, maybe we don't want it crossing her face, but we want it above her face. So now we can play it again. So you can use 4K footage inside of an HD timeline and you have the most room to play and sort of reposition this to make it exactly what you want, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna keep this on fill just like this. And then of course we need to reposition our clip back to where it belongs. And then let's make this fit again so we can see it one more time. And just look how gorgeous this flare is. It's so pretty. These are real flares shot by Sean and myself. We've created all these in camera with lights, with lenses, and they are awesome. So they look fantastic. And that was super easy, right? So let's go ahead and do it, do add a second flare to our second clip here. We have this guy coming across here and I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna drag, grab my clip, drag it down and drop it. Now this clip is super long. So I'm gonna do is grab my blade tool and I'm gonna cut it here and I'm just gonna erase this, right? So here's our flare. Now we have to do two things. We have to first blend it. So let's change the blend mode from normal to screen. And then we're gonna change the spatial conform. And if you wanted it to be HD, you change it to fill. If you want it to be 4K, you're gonna change it to none. I'm gonna leave it on 4K cause I'm gonna do a little bit, a little more steps to this. And I also wanna zoom out just a bit. Okay, we're gonna put that on 50%. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring up my box our, so we can move this around, reposition this. And I want this to be up in the corner, okay? So it looks more like this. So if we roll this through, here's this guy coming through and he's got this flare that looks really awesome. But I wanna turn this, I wanna make this flare a different color. How do I do that? Well, all I'm gonna do is this is footage. So I can go over here to my effects panel, pull up the color and then add a tint. So if I drag tint here, now you'll see that my, my flare has been made purple, right? There it is. So what if I wanted this to be like a sort of a nuclear fallout? Well, I can change this, see that? So you can change this to anything you want. So I can change this to a red and it really looks like this crazy sun, this nuclear sun. And if we roll that through, now we've created a flare that looks like it's completely different and I added a color to it and now it kind of looks like this cool sci-fi, you know, nuclear winter kind of flare, which is really cool. So you have the 4K size to reposition, just like we did here. You can leave it in HD or you can change the color. So the possibilities are truly limitless. And that's that. Now you know how to add these studio flares to your video content. So definitely please go give them a try and let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment below and definitely share this with your friends. Also, if you don't wanna miss the next free effects tutorial, click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we love each and every one of you. That's all I have to share today. I hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.